Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Um, wow, it's been like two weeks since I've uh, since I've recorded anything, anything at all. So before I start talking about anything, um, well, we've managed to trap the giant squid in the treasure cellar. The treasure will sink with the ship, but so it goes. And so just a little, uh, little log left behind by the, uh, pirates on this here pirate ship. Uh, let's take a look at this one, too, while we're at it. We're done for. A giant squid just got a hold of us. The ship's going down fast. Fantastic. Fantastic. So basically, um, what you can gather from reading all these is that this, uh, this here ship was attacked by, uh, a giant squid, which we will, we will be meeting shortly in this episode, actually, as a matter of fact. As long as I, uh... As long as I uh, hurry up. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to my grinding mode because I delay I had to delay my return for a day because um, I had to do some grinding. I'm just gonna show off the battle here. Um, these dry bones they are invincible. Well, they're not invincible. They take damage, but um, true to the dry bones in all the Mario RPG uh, games, or, I don't know about the Mario and Luigi games, but I know in the Paper Mario games, they do have a habit of coming back to life. These ones just don't die. You can hit them with, with anything you want, they won't die. Uh, except for magic, of course. If you hit them with a th Thunderbolt, which is probably the best thing to hit them with, they will die. So, um, that's why I keep Mallow equipped for this, uh, this, maybe, maybe this one final time, just to, uh, deal the final blow to all these, um, dry bones here. So, anyway, uh, no, no, I've read enough of these. I'm not reading these anymore. Um, okay, oh yeah, we're just gonna cut that out. Um, Peach gotta level up, which is fantastic, because I haven't said that enough yet. So anyway, a little bit about my laptop while I'm, uh, well, I'm not really talking about it. So, um, but, um, my laptop just wouldn't turn on. I don't know if you've read my update video, but, uh, or, <laughs> really? Did I just say if you've read my update video. No. You don't read update videos, people. Um, just, just saying. Just saying. You don't read update videos. Anyway. Anyway, um, my laptop would not turn on if you, if you, uh, heard it in my update video. It would just, just wouldn't turn on. And I had to mess around. Well, not necessarily me. I gave it to, like, a bunch of people in my family that know about computers. Eventually, you know, someone figured it out. And... Um, they figured out that it was the, um, I think it's the motherboard or something like that, or it works when the battery is unplugged, but my laptop is plugged into the wall, so I have to take my battery out. If I want to turn my laptop on, it just won't turn on unless I take my battery out and plug it into the wall, and I didn't even know you could do, like, if you, you could uh, keep your laptop on without having it plugged in, without having the battery in, because I thought the charger just charged the battery. I didn't know it actually sent power directly to the computer. But anyway, um, that's beside the point. Uh, I, I figured out myself that um, if, uh, if I did that, if I took the battery out and plugged it in, and it would turn on, but it, I figured out that if I put the battery back in after it turned on, the battery would work fine. It would charge and everything, so... I don't know what's wrong. The battery just doesn't work when you're trying to turn the computer on, I guess. I don't know. But, either way, my motherboard, something's wrong with it. Um, and while my dad was taking it apart, trying to fix it, he accidentally broke the connection between the keyboard and the motherboard, which is kind of a fail, but um, so now my keyboard for my laptop doesn't work. I have my laptop back, but the keyboard doesn't work. So, I have to use a USB keyboard, and I have to put it on top of my laptop, which already has a keyboard, so I look retarded, but whatever. I've just been blathering on about my laptop, not really much about the actual game, which is okay, I guess, because I've been doing a lot of talking about the actual game itself lately. Um, so yeah, um, if, you, uh, well, if you've played this game, you should know that I'm supposed to be looking for these clue things right now to find out the password, but since I've played this game multiple times, and it would just, it would just kind of drag things out, and I don't really feel like doing it, and I know the password, um, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, deduce it. So yeah, where's Yoshi? Where is he? Where is Yoshi? Oh, cool. Cool. No coins. Awesome. I'm just gonna cry myself to sleep. 
Oh, I'm just gonna kill myself. Um, actually, I actually have started saying that a lot more than I should because I said it in like English class the other day, and my teacher said she was gonna send me to guidance if I said that again. I'm like, whoa, calm down, being sarcastic. Another, which is another thing. I don't, I, I don't know why people don't understand understand sarcasm these days. Like, maybe it's just because I'm saying it with a straight face, or because when people are sarcastic with a straight face. It gets kind of difficult for them to tell that you're not serious, but whatever, I don't know. I don't know, because my chemistry teacher was trying to persuade us, or trying to convince us that uh, our midterm and final were just going to be memorizing the periodic table, and everyone believed him, and I'm just laughing my ass off because I know he's not serious. I don't know, people just don't get sarcasm. I don't know. Which is kind of bad, because... Uh, that's like my thing. I'm just extremely sarcastic to everyone. And if they think I'm serious, it's just weird. Because they're just like, really? I'm like, no, I'm joking. And then it's just like, okay, cool, cool. But if you haven't already guessed what the password is, then I will tell you it is indeed Pearls. Um, the name of Mr. Krabs' uh, wonderful daughter. Anyway, I'm making a cut right here because I had to do some hardcore grinding because I was at a pretty low level. Or not too low, level 8. But, um, just giving you a little peek at my stats, everyone is at, le at least at level 11 right now. So pretty fantastic. I said it again. Oh, my God. If I say fantastic one more time, it's not going to be fantastic because there's going to be blood everywhere. I need to. Re I really need to cool my jets. I mean, like, come on. Um. So anyway, once you talk to this pipe thing after you got the right password, the door will open, and as soon as you step through, you're gonna encounter Mr. King Calamari, even though he's not really here. And excuse me. Um. Uh, I have to apologize for another thing I did. Um, first of all. You know, because you all know that I uh, haven't been posting videos because my laptop's broken. I apologize for that sort of already, or I explained it. But now I'm apologizing. But anyway, the second thing I want to apologize for is that this is in Windows Movie Maker, and Windows Movie Maker. Um, I don't know how the quality is going to be. It's not going to be in HD, and uh, there might be like a black border or something, which there is anyway, because the screen resolution is different when you're in battle than uh from what it is like outside of battle so I, if i cut the border off completely on one of them uh, i'm gonna be actually cutting off the actual screen for another one if you if you get what i'm talking about like the overworld screens and the battle screens have like different sized screens and one of them has like a black border but anyway um so if there's a difference in quality that is why um, the reason I'm doing this in Movie Maker is because I don't have time to do it right now in Vegas. It takes like two hours as opposed to like ten minutes with um, Movie Maker, and I just, I just don't have the time. Because I'm going to bed quite soon. My homework took a lot longer than I thought it would, so I'm just going to record this and go to bed, so that may be why. I don't know if I'm being a bit lackluster this episode or not. I'm just a bit tired from writing an essay. About a book that I didn't even read. Um, the first of which, I, this is like a series of essays. The first of which I got a 91, and I didn't even read the book. So that's pretty swell. Not fantastic, swell. Because fantastic's getting a little overused by me in this episode. But anyway, that's why there aren't any fancy schmancy, uh, you know, um, <laughs> those uh, snazzy screen captures from uh, Mario Wiki about the boss that I, you know, stick in there. There's none of that, because I do that in Vegas, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing it in Vegas, so... Yeah. Anyway, I should actually talk about this battle, uh, instead of rambling on. I've just had so much to talk about that doesn't involve this game. Um, and that's just, and right now I'm gonna talk about this battle, though. It's divided into three segments, and it's a lot easier for me right now, probably because, uh... Because... I grind it a lot, and I think I'm at a higher level than I usually am, so this battle seems pretty easy, but use pe I, I keep peaching for uh, ever after I get her, pretty much, because she has great healing techni techniques. She has therapy, which heals pretty much, completely heals one person, and oh, 18 damage? 
I vote we don't attack King Calamari anymore and we attack his tentacles. Um, it does not want. Um, but I've been using Hammer a lot with Mario and I really should be using Flame because I'm pretty sure that does a lot more damage. So I really should start using that, but I guess I'm gonna tackle the tentacles first. I don't know. I'm. I really should have read up on how to actually fight this guy before I, you know, fought him. But whatever. He's divided into three segments. You'll fight three tentacles, and then three more tentacles, and then Mr. Calamari, and two more tentacles. So altogether, eight tentacles, I believe. Three, three, and then two. That yes, that is eight tentacles. So um. I guess he's a, you know, some sort of octopus squid, you know, in that family. I don't know, I'm too tired to think about, uh, biology. Um, but yeah, if you've noticed Bowser's, Bowser's, uh, new, new, uh, weapon is a little silly. It's him throwing Mario, but it gets kind of confusing, because sometimes he doesn't actually throw Mario. He throws, like, a little doll of Mario. I don't know. Um, I'm sure Fuzzy Dude could explain the, uh, mechanics behind that because he knows like everything about this game he could probably like he could probably give me the stats for this boss and post them in the comments so i wouldn't even have to put them and put in like an effect of them he could just like recite them all without even having to look them up because he just memorized this entire game verbatim this fuzzy dude is pretty insane with his knowledge of this game i commend you mr fuzzy dude you know quite a bit about Super Mario RPG, and I thank you for all the interesting tidbits you've, uh, you've the useful tidbits you've given me in, uh, in the comments, and, my, and, uh, you gave me a couple of PMs, I think, with some tips and tricks, um, so yes, thank you, Mr. Fuzzy Dude, and, um, let's see, group hug, you know, or, well, actually, I just use therapy, but, Therapy and group hug are two fantastic techniques, because Peach is just, the only way I can describe her is, a, is she uses her as a heal slave. That's basically what she is, a heal slave. You just use her to heal, um, just heal. She's pretty much useless as far as attacks go, but I spam her group hug. Even if, like, not everyone needs it, like, if one person has, like, a status ailment and another person is, like, a little low on HP, I'll just use group hug. I spam group hug, like you don't even know. But um, maybe I should actually try using super fireball or super flame, because it does quite a bit of damage. And that is King Calamari, and we're gonna continue our journey next time.